My initial impressions of the MX-30 are that it's incredibly impressive. Um, it's, it's very small. Um, it shoots ABC HD in, you know, like a lot of kind of cameras this size, but it's, you know, it's decent 1080 quality. But the really impressive thing is it has this balanced optical stabilizing system um, that just seems to be, you know, a generation or two ahead of, of certainly what I've seen in, in cameras this size. We've tried to make just a little test film to put it through its paces and we thought seeing as it stabilises so well it'd be nice to try some car mount stuff so uh, fortunately our director has got a Caterham 7 little sports car so we've tried mounting it at a few different points on the chassis and bodywork and you know we would expect uh, with the sort of non-stabilised camera to get an interesting dynamic shot just because of where the camera is but one with quite a lot of, of vibration and, and shake and things and actually uh, you know we set it up on the uh, car press record, let him drive off and come back and we looked at the footage and it was it was genuinely shocking how stable it was. What we saw was that the, the car moved within the frame as the, the lens stabilized the shot. So the you know the horizon, not that it specifically looks for the horizon, but it seemed like the, the you know the exterior of the car was was much more stable and almost as if there was someone operating it, kind of tracking it around. Me, I would use this as a, as an additional sort of effects camera or a crash camera, certainly mounted on cars. Um, it worked excellently, so I can imagine other moving vehicles would be great. Uh, I can imagine using this, you know, giving it for documentary stuff. You know, you could give this to, you know, in on-screen talent and they could use it for stuff. The stabilisation would make the shots look really nice. Uh, and as a sort of, you know, more on the prosumer side, it's got all the proper audio inputs and reasonable amount of manual control. So I think it would slot nicely into to, into shoots with, with bigger cameras as a sort of additional specialised camera. The other thing we were really impressed by, I've never seen on anything actually, is it's got this Pico projector built into the um, into the front, so you can project stuff that you've shot. It won't do live, but for reviewing stuff, it's it's really fun actually. And we were impressed by how effective it was reviewing the stuff in the pub after the shoot. Um, it, it's a lot of fun. It's quite remarkable actually how how effective it is. It's surprisingly bright in a kind of in a darker room, and there's just a way of uh, of trying it out. So I had a lot of fun with it.